So this story might be a theoretical story. I'm not going to say whether this is a true story or not, but if it did, it would include me about 20 years ago working at a store. And again, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything in this story. It's a good story, though. Um, so, uh, theoretically, me in the late 90s working at a store, very quiet store, you know, only a few customers a day. And for the most part, I worked alone, sitting there, um, waiting for customers to come in. Very boring. Um, luckily, I did have this Toshiba laptop, you know, running Windows 98 at the time, probably. And uh, with a nice little floppy drive on the front. Well, the register for this place was a DOS-based register, which I think a lot of places still use, which is scary. Um, and I had to do inventory stuff in the store occasionally, so the manager gave me the password to get into the, the section of the computer to do inventory stuff. And the password was 1234. Well, you know, I'm doing that, and then, you know, I'm done with that, and I'm sitting there bored again, and I'm going through now all these menus that I didn't, couldn't, didn't have access to before, and there's one exit to DOS prompt. I'm like, yes, click. Password 1234 did not work, so obviously it was a different password to get to the DOS prompt. Oh, well, that would have been fun. Well, the front of the machine did have a little flap that flipped down, and there was a floppy disk, so I brought in a bootable floppy disk, put it in there. It didn't work. Oh well. Well, uh, you know, time goes by. I'm cleaning out underneath the register and I find the boot disks that are for the register. So I put one in and I restart the register and it's starting. I'm like, yes, yes, I'm going to get a prompt of some sort and it asks for a password and I'm like, ah, one, two, three, four, no, didn't work. Oh well. Eject the floppy, hit enter, get a message up on the screen. Disk in drive A, uh, not found. What drive would you like to go to? C, enter. All of a sudden, I'm at the DOS prompt, and I have full control over this machine, and I can get into every folder. Now, this is back in the 90s, and at the time, when you would get a receipt and you pay by credit card, your full credit card number and expiration date are printed on the receipt. That's just how things worked back then. Uh, stupid, I know. Well, this machine, everything was text-based on it, which was nice. A lot of the database stuff was just um, text with, with uh, tab delimiters. Uh, so I was able to go in there and change, I could change the price of stuff, which I, I technically had the ability to do before, but just by going in with a text editor, which, uh, you know, at the prompt, I just type, you type in edit and name of the file, I can go in there and change stuff. I could change the messages on the receipts, you know, where it says the store name and the address, and at the bottom it would say, uh, thank you for coming, please shop again, or whatever. I could change those messages because I found all the text files for those things. And also, I found that it stored like a month or two of every receipt. Everything the register receipt printed went into one long text file which means everyone's credit card number. Now, I didn't, I didn't, don't get me wrong, I didn't steal anyone's credit card numbers, but it just blew my mind that all that was just sitting there, that anybody had access to it. And I just thought it was so cool. And I found a game on there called NL Snipes, which uh, you can actually Google, there's a wiki on it. Uh, and it's basically like a te text-based maze where you're a little smiley face with your initials and you go around shooting these little happy faces. So it's there. And... Um, like I said, this store, the, the thing about this was I was really, really bored at this job most of the time because I was either cleaning the store or sitting there doing nothing. And um, so now that I had a DOS prompt, I brought a floppy disk that had Miss Pac-Man on it and I installed Miss Pac-Man on the register. I don't remember if I installed it or just played it off the floppy, but I played Miss Pac-Man on a little, little uh, monochrome screen about this big. I just sit there playing Miss Pac-Man. And the problem was... When customers would come in, I would have to quickly, quickly reboot the machine, and it would take five minutes for the register to reboot. Um, so I do that, and I try not to do that too often because it did uh, log every time the, the register would reboot. So I try to go in there and at the beginning of the day put Miss Pac-Man on there, and then when a first customer came in, reboot it. Um, but sometimes the customer would come in, know right what they want, and they come up, and I'd be like, uh try to scan. I'm like, sorry, computer's running slow. Sorry about that. 
it's a slow computer and it would really just be booting, uh, which it was a slow computer, but it was because I was playing Miss Pac-Man on the machine and it would take, like I said, three to five minutes or something crazy like that for it to, to fully boot into the register program. Uh, so that's the first part of that story. The second part gets even more interesting. So next time I'll tell you about that. Have a great day.